Okay then, so the next thing I want to show you is how to transition between two different conditional items in the template. For example, in our to-dos component, we have this div right here, which is outputting the li tags, the ul, and it has a viv attached to it. And it says, if we have length on the to-dos, then output this. Now, if we don't, then we fire this, this v else, and we output this instead. So this is a bit of conditional templating. We either output this, or we output this. So in essence, these two things are swapping. When we have no to-dos, this is swapped for this. If we have to-dos, this is swapped for this. So when that happens, if we get to not to-dos, then this is gonna go and this will enter. And vice versa, if we have to-dos, this will leave and this will enter. So how do we then control the transitions between switching of those two items? At the minute, if we delete both of them, it just kind of pops in that message and vice versa. If we add some, they just kind of pop in. We do get the animation for this item, but the message itself just pops out, okay? So how do we control that transition? Well, you might think that we place a transition group around this because we have two different elements, but only one of them shows at a time. So we can just place a normal transition component around this. Let me do that like so. And then what I'm going to do is scoot this in and give this a name and we'll set it equal to switch because we're going to switch between the two different things. So all we need to do now is set enter transitions and exit transitions or leave transitions for these two things using the classes. And then whenever we switch between this and this, it's going to use those transition classes, both of these elements. So let's give this a whirl. I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom over here and we're going to do our switch styles. So let me do a comment to say switch transitions like so. And then below that, I'm going to say switch enter hyphen from. And also I'm going to combine this with switch hyphen leave to, because remember, as we've been using these classes in the past, the enter from and leave to are normally the same. If we take a look at this, leave to, opacity zero and scale 0.6 and enter from opacity zero and scale 0.6. They're both generally the same because they're both going to the point at which they're no longer visible on the page. So I'll group them together and we'll say opacity right here is going to be zero and then transform is going to be translate in the Y direction that's up and down and it's going to be 20 pixels. So further down by 20 pixels. All right, so that's the initial state and the end state. Now I'm also going to do the switch enter two, and I'm going to group that together with switch leave from, because again, those are going to be the same. So this time it's going to be an opacity of one and also a transform where we'll say translate Y and it's going to be zero. Okay, so finally we need our active classes. So I'll say switch hyphen enter active, like so. And I'm gonna say transition is 0.5 seconds. And we'll say all before that in fact. So it transitions all of the properties and also ease. We finally need our switch leave active class. And what I'm going to do is say transition. In fact, we'll just copy this right here. It's going to be the same transition like so. Now there's a reason I'm not grouping these together and that's because we're going to add some more properties to this in a minute, but let's just try this so far. So if I delete this, we can now see, well, it doesn't look great, but at least it animated in, it faded in and it came up from below. Now, if I do the same for adding these, you can see we get an animation out of the text and this kind of animated in from below again. Now, the only thing is we have this kind of jerkiness whereby if we delete these, it jumps right up at the end. So that's because they're both kind of appearing in at the same time. So first of all, what I'm going to do is come up to the top and give this a prop, this one right here of mode. 
and we can say here either in out or out in and what that does is say look I want you to either do the in transition first and then the out one or the out one first and then the in one we're going to go with out in and that means that in that transition this will fade out first and then this will fade in and vice versa if we delete all of the to do's this is going to fade out first and then this is going to fade in so they're not working at the same time so let me give this another try i'm going to add a to do okay that looks a bit better if i add some more and then delete these again looks a lot better all right, so I did say I was gonna add in some more properties down here, but actually I don't need to. So what I'm gonna do is, again, just group these in together. Let me comma separate those like so and delete it. And this should still work the same way. Let me give this a whirl. Yep, everything looks pretty good. And if I delete these, yep, looking nice as well, cool. So the last thing I want to do is actually get these two classes and comment them out because like I said before, we don't actually need these because these are the default properties of the element on the page. The default property of a div or an li tag is to have an opacity of one. And the default transform, if you like, is just to be in its original position, which is what this is. So I'm going to actually delete this and save it and see if this still works. Yep, everything still works. And if we delete those, all still works.